This is the third year the Frequency Festival has taken place and it has grown each year. In 2015 it brought 1,700 visitors into the city and this year the organisers are expecting it to be even more successful. So it brings outside perspective into Lincoln, it being such a historic city, it brings people that would not expect to normally come here, so we have people from all over the world coming across, so it just means there's a lot more money coming into Lincoln itself. The festival is being funded by the National Lottery through Arts Council England, with additional investment from the University of Lincoln and Lincoln Big. St Mary Le Wigford Church is just one of the places that you'll find art exhibitions for this year's Frequency Festival. Here you'll find virtual reality experiences, but it's not the only place in Lincoln that will be holding these exhibitions. Other places you can find art exhibitions include the University of Lincoln, Ruddox, Lincoln Cathedral, Waterside Shopping Centre, Lincoln Drill Hall and The Collection. As well as bringing more people to the city, the organisers hope it will give artists an opportunity to showcase their work. Artists are in and around the city today getting their installations ready. It makes me wonder what, what's, what's the point in making work if no one sees it. Uh, so you need that audience to sort of make it artwork I suppose. So um, yeah, I love, I love putting my work out there to see how it's uh, absorbed by the audience. Louise Brooks, LSJ News.